Hello and welcome to my video. Mr.net is here. This is video number five from our Sodoku tutorial. In the previous videos we create this scene with this grid. We can mark every grid every object in this grid and we can insert numbers into this grid. In this video we want to implement more numbers into one of these fields so that the player can later remember which number can be placed in one field and which not. The first thing what we do is we go into our prefab folder and double click our field prefab. We have here a text and we need more text. text. So I duplicate this one and I rename this text to number underline one. Then I change also the size to 15 and 15. I place this box in the left upper corner and also I want to change the font size because we didn't see anything. I try 10, okay, that's possible, 13, 14, okay, 13, that's okay, I delete this number and now I copy this text here so that I have 9 of these text boxes here. And now I have to replace this text so that I have a grid. Well, whoop. later in the tutorial you will see for what we need these boxes here. So, and then I also rename each box number two. number 3, number 4, uh, number 5, 6, 7, 8, and the last one, 9. Oh, nine. Well, so the next thing is I want to decide if I want to insert one of these values here or if I want to insert one of the small values and for that I implement a button. So we can go here into our panel, right click, UI and create a new button object. I drag this button here on the left bottom corner. I also change the text of the button. I for information and I also change the size of the font size to 50. That's okay. And I also change the name of the button to information button. The next thing is we open our script, our English game script. And above the start method, I implement two properties or one property. It is a public button. This is our information button. Then we need also a method for this button. So I implement a public void. Click on underline information button. And to check it, 
I print a log message to the console. Click on information button. So I save the script. I go back to Unity and then I click here on the event system. Then we see we have here a field information button and with drag and drop I attach the information button to our property. Then I open my information button and we have here the on click field and it is empty so I click here to the plus and we see we need an object so I take the event system and with drag and drop I attach the event system to our on click then I can choose here a function we have here the English game this is our script and the script has the click on information button method so I save this and I start the game I go to the console clear it and now I click the button click on information button so now I can click the button but I didn't see if the button is active or inactive and for that we go into our script into the English game script and over our click on information button method we implement a new property and this property is a private boolean and I call it is information button active and this is when the program starts false because the button is inactive and when I click on the button I try I ask is this button active so set it inactive and when this button is active set it set this button inactive so for that I use if is information button active so then we set this information button information button active variable here to false otherwise this the information button button is inactive then I set this boolean here to true and then I need also a color so I can see as a player that the button is active or inactive and if we look into our button in our game scene here the information button it has an image component and we can access from this image our color so we can change the color of the button so if this button is inactive and uh, I want to activate it I want to change the button color so I have here my information button property information button dot get component and I want the image component and the image component has the color property and I set here a new color In previous videos we set for our fields also a different color and I want to take the same color so in our no, script in our English controller no in our English field prefab object class we have the set hover method and inside this method we change the color and I copy this color here and in my English game scene I paste the color here inside this and also when the button is active I want to change the color of the button 
to a white button. So I copy this line here and set the color one for I set the value one so I get the white color. I save the script. I go back to Unity, I wait after it has compiled and I start the game. So if I click the button we see that the color is changed and the button is active and if I click it the button is inactive. Well this works. In the next video we want to use this variable what we have created to decide which value we want to insert in these fields a, one of the great values here or one of the small values that's it for this video please give me a feedback and we see us in the next video bye